When the President of the United States travels somewhere, we all know he doesn't just hop in the family station wagon. When he's not flying in Air Force One or Marine One, the most powerful person on the planet travels in a rather impressive motorcade. Sure, we know the limo is bulletproof and there's a ton of Secret Service agents around, but we bet there are some fascinating things about the motorcade you didn't know. So hit that subscribe button and prepare to see all of the incredible effort that goes into keeping POTUS as safe as possible. R&D The centerpiece of any presidential motorcade is the president's limousine. You've likely seen footage and images of this vehicle swiftly moving through the streets of various cities. But this is much more than a beefed up limo. Instead of just taking a regular limo and bolting on a bunch of armor and run flat tires, there's actually a lot of research and development that goes into designing and building a presidential car. How much? Well, the car used for the inauguration of President Trump has been in development for years. Over this time, it is rumored that GM has spent upwards of $15 million in development cost alone. A car that's a tank. So what does all that research and development get you? The presidential limo, aka the beast, is more tank than car. It has eight inch thick armored doors, glass that can stop a 44 Magnum bullet, a body made up of five inches of military grade armor, and armor floor plates to protect the president from grenades and bombs thrown underneath it. The beast even sports an armored gas tank that has a special foam that will seal itself if punctured. Limo cost. Well, as you can imagine, the presidential limousine is rather pricey. Sure, a regular limo will cost you around $75,000. Throw in all the armor and amenities found in the Beast, and you have one insanely expensive car. Estimates place the cost of one presidential limo in the region of $1.5 million. That's not even including the cost of gasoline, which is likely high considering this thing gets an estimated 4 miles per gallon. Fast and Furious Okay, so it's heavy, chews gasoline, and reportedly can only reach 60 miles per hour in around 15 seconds. Hold on, though. The Secret Service compensate for this lack of performance on paper by putting a specialist behind the wheel. That's not just any regular chauffeur driving the president around. Nope, it is a specially trained Secret Service agent who can handle the beast as though it were a Ferrari. Special driving courses ensure this agent can get the car out of danger and through nearly any situation if the need arises. Never just one. Yup, it is believed that there are around 12 presidential limousines. Why so many? Well, if you watch a presidential motorcade, you may notice that the group has two or three beasts. These can be used to carry other VIPs, or more commonly, they're used as decoys. In this instance, they move around in the motorcade, so any potential assassins have no idea which one holds the president. Always sent ahead. From California to England, the motorcade gets sent ahead thanks to the U.S. military. In this instance, the Beast and accompanying Secret Service vehicles are packed up aboard military transport vehicles and flown to the destination in preparation for the president's arrival. This way, there's always a familiar group of vehicles waiting to escort the president, no matter where he is, across the globe. Size matters. If you've seen a few presidential motorcades, then you know each one is a little different. This is because each scenario is a little different and requires altering the amount of protection and support staff traveling with the president. In short, the more dangerous an environment, the more vehicles will travel with the motorcade. Former agents have said that the smallest motorcades are usually around 10 vehicles in size. In areas where there is more of a threat, the motorcade can grow up to 40 cars, SUVs, and motorcycles. Always watching. Every presidential motorcade has a lot of agents and police on lookout. Obviously, the main part of this is visual as they scan for any threats. However, agents are also listening to the airwaves for threatening radio or cellular chatter. This was demonstrated in 1996 when agents picked up on the words marriage and bridge while escorting Bill Clinton in the Philippines. Knowing marriage was often a terrorist code word for an imminent attack, they diverted the motorcade. A search later discovered explosives attached to a bridge along the president's original route of travel. Serious firepower. Take a look at the gun on the roof of this SUV. While it looks like something out of Grand Theft Auto V, we can assure you that this is very real and a part of the presidential motorcade. Just watch the next motorcade and see if you notice the one SUV with no agents jumping out of it. That's the one sporting this six-barreled Gatling gun that can fire thousands of rounds per minute. Of course, the Secret Service agents are always packing a whole bunch of firepower, but this guy definitely has the final word in any argument. With a touch of James Bond. 
While it's armored from head to toe, the Beast also has some pretty neat additions you'd expect 007's car might have. There's night vision cameras, tear gas grenades, and firefighting equipment, all standard features. The car can also survive a chemical attack thanks to having its own oxygen supply. Of course, there's always the touch of elegance provided by the separate reclining leather chairs in the back. So while the world goes crazy outside, the President can ride in comfort. Well, that is some pretty insane protection when it comes to the President of the United States and his motorcade. Want to learn more? The Richest has more videos about the White House and Donald Trump, so check them out if you haven't already. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you around next time if the world doesn't end. Bye bye